We all want to make our environment cleaner and healthier. There is an extraordinary exterior wall system that has a tiny environmental footprint with a huge economic benefit. Outsolation systems from Drive It, as green as it gets. Outsolation systems are highly energy efficient wall claddings used on over 350,000 buildings worldwide. Outsolation systems can be attached to an approved substrate or installed over an air and water barrier, as shown here. Components include expanded polystyrene insulation board, fiberglass reinforced base coat, and a textured acrylic finish. A variety of finished textures, styles, and colors are available and can replicate stucco, brick, limestone, or granite. The expanded polystyrene can be shaped to create architectural details such as reveals, cornice work, and coins. The design options with dry fit outsolation systems are virtually endless. Most importantly, dry fit outsolation systems are, simply, as green as it gets. Let's see how. Three key factors impact the construction and use of buildings. These are the design and construction costs, operating costs, and environmental costs. Each cost has not always been equally important to all involved in the building's lifespan. For example, the architect and the general contractor are typically most concerned with aesthetics, function, and meeting a construction budget. Similarly, a facility manager often has to operate and maintain a structure in which he had no role in designing. And, there have been few in any capacity, until recently, who were concerned with the environmental footprint of their building beyond conforming to local building codes. Today, concern for all costs, and more and more the environmental one, is equally compelling to all involved with the construction cycle and building use. Let's examine these costs, beginning with construction. The selection of exterior cladding materials is usually dictated by the desired appearance. Once bidding takes place, however, a building is often over budget and the value engineering phase begins. This process can result in changing the aesthetics and as a consequence sacrifices quality and performance, but not with drive it outsolation systems. In a case study by a major architectural firm, over 10% $570,000 of shell construction costs were saved on a building designed for masonry by substituting the drive it outsolation system. The exact look of the project was maintained, and two months were slashed from the construction schedule. Imagine what the building owner could do with that extra green. Next, let's look at the operating costs, specifically the HVAC and maintenance costs for the lifetime of the building. Forty percent of all energy consumed goes for heating and cooling buildings of all types, and energy prices have tripled in the past few years. Much research has been dedicated to the goal of reducing energy use. For instance, the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation determined that insulation placed on the exterior of the wall in steel frame construction reduces both air leakage and thermal bridging. This, in turn, greatly improves energy efficiency. Drive it outsolation systems do just that by literally placing a seamless thermal blanket on the outside of your building and helping to reduce energy consumption. The state of Massachusetts endorses this concept by requiring exterior insulation for all metal framed structures in the state building code, and other states are considering similar legislation. At Drive It's request, the U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory conducted whole wall experiments in order to compare the energy efficiency of several commonly used claddings. The two-inch thick drive it outsolation systems were found to be at least 84 percent more energy efficient than the next best one. What does 84 percent more energy efficient mean? Simply, that drive it outsolation systems can reduce a building's energy use by as much as 30% with no additional costs. In fact, in 2006, by dramatically increasing the energy efficiency of over 350,000 buildings, drive it outsolation systems saved the equivalent of over 3.5 million barrels of oil.
it's clear. Drive-It Out Solution Systems can save money on both construction and operating costs for the building's lifetime. But in today's more socially conscious economy, that just isn't green enough. Because of the theorized link of carbon dioxide emissions to rapid climate change, special focus has been placed on establishing the carbon footprint of all things, large and small. Building products need to be evaluated in terms of their impact on the environment over their entire lifetime and not just at a single point. For this reason, DRIFIT asked the National Institute of Standards and Technology to evaluate the environmental impact of outsolation systems throughout these five life cycle stages. This chart shows the resources needed to extract and create the materials we use to make our outsolation systems, including the expanded polystyrene. It also takes into account our manufacturing process. As you can see, the energy required is significantly less than for some other common claddings. In fact, while we're on the topic of manufacturing, drive its facilities are managed to ISO standards which require constant measurement and improvement. ISO is the benchmark for worldwide manufacturing excellence. Transportation comes next. When comparable square foot quantities of various claddings are transported equal distances, drive it outsolation systems compare very favorably with brick and stucco. After construction and use, which we've already discussed, comes the end life of a product, which involves reuse, recycling, or disposal of the product. Again, outsolation systems are superior. The Drive It Care program prescribes the routine and affordable measures that can be taken to keep outsolation systems looking beautiful. When properly cared for, outsolation systems can perform as intended for the lifetime of the building. Drive It outsolation systems are also used to renovate other materials, such as brick and stucco, without changing the look and without having to remove and dispose of the original cladding. It is tempting to think that because dry fit outsolation systems incorporate expanded polystyrene and acrylic polymers, that somehow this makes them less ecologically responsible than a seemingly more natural product, such as wood siding or clay brick. It is essential, however, that when evaluating a product's environmental impact, the entire life cycle be considered. Whether a product is natural or manufactured, there are embedded energy costs involved with each phase. No single phase is more important than another. The size of every product's environmental footprint is determined by the total impact over the entire life cycle. Reduction of carbon dioxide emissions is a worldwide environmental goal. The NIST study shows that over the 50-year life cycle of a building, the carbon footprint of drive it outsolation systems is about three times smaller than stucco and five times smaller than brick. Green buildings reduce carbon dioxide emissions by using fewer resources throughout their life cycle. Today, everyone involved in the business of designing, constructing, and operating buildings has an opportunity to positively affect the world by making smart choices. So choose DryFit Outsolation Systems, products with a tiny environmental footprint, but huge economic and ecological benefits. That's why we can claim we're as green as it gets.